Hi there and welcome. I am so excited that you decided to join us to learn a little bit more about what we do as coaches. I'm going to share with you about my story because um, it's pretty unique from a lot of different coaches and all of us have our own story, which is the most amazing part about coaching is that you can do whatever you want with it. So I started coaching about four years ago. Um, I work a full-time job. Um, I have a job and a career that I love in technology, working for big companies um, in you know big positions. Like I love what I do, and I never had any intention of leaving my job to do fitness coaching full-time. And I was able to grow a secondary full-time income, um, part-time, working part-time, because I still worked a full-time job within two years. And people would always say, what's your why? We all have a different why, why we do this. And my why was because I love this and I'm passionate about it. And I was a recovering binge eater um, and diet pill addict and nothing had ever worked for me. I was a customer for three months before I became a coach, solely joined for the discount, which you'll hear a lot. A lot of us joined for the discount and then realized there's such an opportunity here to help other people. And I just became really passionate about helping people. About two years into the business, um, you know, kind of right after I made this sort of a full-time income while I worked another full-time job, I had a nearly life-ending accident. Um, I was crossing a crosswalk with my dog before work, like I do every morning, and I was hit at full speed by a car. And I had emergency brain surgery to save my life. I shattered my pelvis, my face, my sacrum, and my sternum. And um, there was question if I would survive. Um, and there was question if I would ever walk again. I was wheelchair bound for months. I was able to like pivot in and out of my wheelchair to go to the bathroom. But that's it. I spent a week in intensive care and then another month in the hospital um, kind of rehabbing to be able to come home in my wheelchair still. And the doctors have told me um, that being healthy saved my life. Um, your body can't sustain that trauma if you are not in good shape, your heart, you know, your, your brain, your everything. Um, and I do walk. And about three months after I had the accident, I was able to start working out again without pain. Um, two years later, I still have no pain. And um, I feel great. Um, if you saw me, you wouldn't think that I had a nearly life-ending accident two years ago. I don't have a hobble. I don't have anything. And I, I credit my survival um, to being fit and healthy. And that just kind of made me have a burning passion even more for helping people because I knew that being fit saved my life. And while people probably aren't going to have as dramatic an accident that I had, it can save you in so many different ways. Um, I went on right after my accident to get pregnant, which was a miracle in and of itself. I had struggled with infertility and miscarriage before my accident. And I was told that because I crushed my pelvis into my uterus, that there were very slim chances. Um, about four months after my accident, I got pregnant. Um, and about a year after my accident, um, I had a baby. And I uh, went, I had gone back to work after my accident. I worked right up until my due date at my nine to five job. And then about a month after I got back from maternity leave, um, I was told that I was losing my job. Um, I'd been at the company 13 years and it was a really hard blow for me. I had, you know, just had a baby, just come back from maternity leave, um, was ready to be, you know, a working mom and still working my beach body business. And it was really stressful. Emotionally, it was a lot for me to take in. Postpartum hormones, for those of you that have gone through that, um, are crazy. But I didn't have financial stress because I had this income, because I had this opportunity, because I was responsible for how much I made and my own future. And so I know a lot of you are thinking like, I don't need the income or it's not really what I, you know, what I thought I would, would want to come in, you know, but you never know what could happen. I did not think after 13 years I was going to lose my job you know, one month after coming back from maternity leave. I did not think that was going to happen. But I'm so thankful that I started this opportunity so that I, while I was dealing with the emotional stress of everything going on, I didn't also have to worry financially. And I could support my daughter. Um, my husband, you know, was certainly helpful, but 
we depend on two incomes in our household um, and having that extra buffer of having our own business and allowing us to be responsible for how much money we hate made and brought in was so important for me and also having something to do you know like not just being home and feeling like I didn't have a purpose um, which I know some people don't feel that way they're fine but I prefer to have a purpose and a passion and it was you know mentally good for me to have something to do while I was unemployed I am going back to work um, and I'm super excited about it, but it was definitely a tough um, pill for me to swallow when it happened. And I just want to share this with all of you because while you might not start with the biggest why, you might just think, oh, I just want a discount or I just want to help a few people, which is where I started things change and there is no risk in starting this business. There's only amazing things that can happen for you. Um, and you never know what's going to happen in your life where you're going to need this for, you know, the mental stability, the financial stability, um, the, the health and fitness aspect of it for yourself. Because as coaches, you know, people always say, Oh, I can never do what you do. I can't even stand track on my own. Coaching is the only thing that has kept me on track because people depend on me every single day to show up and I want to show up for them. So um, I hope this was helpful for you guys. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'm so excited that um, you're thinking about joining us and I hope that you do. Talk to you later. Bye.